It's hard to miss the first attack block piece as it's automatically given to you when you rescue the toad. The second is directly to your left. Use the springboard to reach it. Travel south from there to see the third one. Hit the springboard nearby twice to get to it. The fourth attack block is in the center. Use the springboard on the east side to launch yourself to it. In the next area, you can find the fifth piece by using the springboards to make a stairway. Hit the springboard in the southwest corner of this area twice in order to reach the sixth piece. In the southmost point of the area, hammer the right blue springboard once and the red one twice to obtain the seventh attack block. By hitting the springboard in the southeast corner, you will launch yourself back into the previous area, destroying the rocks around the eighth piece. After getting it, use the nearby springboard to return. Use the springboards north of the ninth attack block to get inside the rock wall. Hit the left blue one once to form stairs to the red one, which you then hit twice to launch yourself inside the wall. When you go to the next area to the east, a story sequence will occur where the toad from before gives you the tenth and final piece. This will unlock the 3D Red Shell Brothers attack for Mario. Getting Luigi's first brother's attack is as simple as following the story until you rescue Brickle. He will thank you by giving you all 10 attack pieces for a Luigi's 3D green shell move. In Dreamy Mushrise Park, the first attack block is right beside the save point. You can't miss it. Continuing on, you'll find the second attack piece to the right of the two question blocks that you can blow to the foreground. The third piece can be found in the next area after blowing the platform Mario has to use to continue to the right. You will see the fourth one as soon as you enter the next area. It's above the rotating platform. The fifth attack block is to the right of the green pipe in the area after bouncing on the flower buds. After going into the green pipe, you'll immediately see the sixth piece on the first platform. Continuing along the path in this area, you should come across the seventh attack block near the longest orange pipe. You'll automatically get the eighth piece when you successfully launch Dreamy Brickle up to the same platform as Mario. The ninth piece can be seen as soon as you enter the next area. It's on the opposite side of the rotatable stairway. Dreamy Brickle will give you the tenth and final attack block when he goes to confront some monsters. This will unlock the first Luigianary attack, the Luigianary Ball. The first attack block in the Dozing Sands can be found in the northwest corner of the first completely sandy area. You can obtain the second piece once you learn the Mole Mario ability. In the same area that you learn the move, travel to the southeast corner, use it to go under the gate, and find the attack block. In the drill training area, jump on the top of the discarded machinery to find the third piece on the eastern cliff. To find the fourth block, travel to the southern part of the first drill track area and use Mario's mini ability to go to the western area. Fall off the platform and go south to find the attack block. In the same area, get back on the raise section and travel along it until you find the fifth piece. Going south from the first drill track area, use Mario's mini ability to squeeze through the hole and get the sixth piece. In the middle of this area, jump up the wooden platforms to find the seventh attack block. Follow the drill track to the southwest. In the center southern tip, you can find the eighth piece. Traveling to the northern area, you can find the ninth attack block in the northern corner by jumping on the discarded machinery. The tenth and final attack block can be found once you use the drill platform to jump the tracks into the westernmost area. This will unlock Luigi's Fire Flower Brothers attack. Once you reach Dreamy Dozing Sands, you can find the first attack block in the area directly after the save point. Jump up the platforms to reach it. The second piece can be found after traveling up the drills and entering the first area to your right. Return to the drills and use them to jump to the platforms on the top left. There you'll find the third piece. Get back on the drill and use your centrifugal force to make the jump to the platform on the top right containing the fourth attack block. 
In the next area, you can find the fifth piece if you travel all the way to the right. You'll find the sixth attack block when you travel left to the area where the Spirit of the Dreamstone sleeps. It's in the top left corner. In the area with the three drills above a bed of spikes, you can find the seventh piece by using centrifugal force to jump to the top left platform. Take the moving platform down to find the eighth attack block. In the area after using the Luigianary Tower to make a path, you can find the ninth piece on the top left platform. The tenth and final piece is in the same room on the right side. This will unlock the second Luigianary attack, the Luigianary Stack. The first attack block in Wakeport can be found in the hotel room with all the toads. Jump on the beds, then the bookcase, and finally the windowsills to reach it. The second piece can be found on top of the inn. To reach it, enter the Beanish Hotel and climb the stairs until you reach the rooftops, then head right. You'll get the third piece by agreeing to help the Who Hooligan in the area south of the main entrance find an engagement ring for his girlfriend. The fourth attack block can be found in Kylie Koopa's house. You can find the fifth one on top of the tour guide building. The sixth block can be found by once again going onto the roof of the Beanish Hotel and then going left to the next area. The seventh block is obtained by talking to the Z Keeper mascot sitting on the bench near the main entrance of the town. The eighth attack block can be found south of the town stage. Break the two rocks in order to reach it. You can find the ninth piece by activating the switch for the bridge. Before heading back into town, go right to find it. Continue going right and travel up the roofs again. Make Mario Mini in order to fit into the hole and obtain the 10th and final attack block. This will unlock the Bye Bye Cannon Brothers attack for Mario. Once you reach Dreamy Wakeport, follow the path until Luigi can access his gust powers. Blow the red blocks into the foreground and jump up them to find the first attack block. Keep going left until you reach more blocks. You'll see the second piece. To reach it, put the red blocks into the foreground to get on top, then place yourself between the opening and the green blocks in the background. Blow them forward and then go right to get the attack block. Go all the way to the left until you reach a side area and jump to the top in order to get to the third piece. Return to the previous room and blow the red blocks to the foreground. Jump along them and you'll see the fourth piece. The fifth attack block will be in the next area, all the way to the right of the umbrellas. In the room to the upper left of the previous area, use the switch to turn the green block. Use it as a platform to reach the sixth piece. Leave through the upper right path and use the first umbrella you come across to reach the seventh attack block. The eighth piece will be in the next room. Blow the red block to the foreground in order to collect it before moving on. In the next room, follow the platforms all the way to the left to find the ninth piece. To find the final piece, blow up the attack blocks around the left green pipe in the bomb room, then go down that pipe. It will take you directly to the 10th attack block. This will unlock the Luigianary attack, Luigianary Wall.
The first attack block in Mount Pajamaya can be found by going right when you come to the fork. Continue along the path until you reach a hole that only mini Mario can fit through and finding it on the other side. Head right into the next area and find the second piece on the southern end. The third piece can be found along the path where the Massive Brothers teach you the spin jump ability. When you reach the fork again, go back to the right and use the spin jump to get the fourth attack block. In the area where you first learn how to ride air currents, use the first one to find the fifth piece on the right. After rescuing a pillow in the westernmost area, talk to it to launch up to a nearby cliff. There you will find the sixth block. Continue using the air pockets to travel northward and veer left after reaching the topmost area. Ride the air pocket to reach the seventh piece. Later on the mountain, when you reach the area before the snow top, use the drill ability to go right and find the eighth attack block. During the Massive Brothers spinning section on the right side, send them to the north when the path splits. After crossing a lava pool, you'll find the ninth piece. The tenth and final attack block can be found during the Massive Brothers spinning section on the left. After spinning them north, west, then north again, use the spin jump to access the platform the block is placed on. This will unlock the Drop Chopper Brothers attack for Luigi. When you enter Dreamy Mount Pajamaya, head east until you find a series of platforms. Drop down into a small alcove to find the first attack block. To access the second piece, turn on the heat after reaching the highest point of the ice fountain section. Ride the platform down to find the block. In the room with the sliding ice block, push it to the left before turning on the heat. Bounce up to the platforms and jump to the highest one to find the third piece. You can find the fourth attack block after solving the sliding block puzzle in the next section of the room. Jump up to the top right platform in the next room to find the fifth piece. Continuing on, avoid all the punching rocks to reach the topmost platform and obtain the sixth block. When you reach the Ice Fountain block puzzle, go all the way to the left to find the seventh piece. Enter the top right room from the Fountain block puzzle and jump up the platforms to get the eighth block. In the room to the left of the Luigianary Typhoon tutorial, jump to an alcove to find the ninth piece. Finally, go left to the next room to find the final attack block on the long ice platform. Finding all 10 pieces will unlock the Luigianary attack, Luigianary Hammer. On your return trip to Mount Pajamaya, the Massive Brothers will give you all 10 attack blocks necessary to unlock Luigi's Sling Sniper Brothers attack after you unlock the door to the treasure room. The first attack block in Driftwood Shore is to the right of Broke Madame's store. Travel along the planks to find it. The second piece is in the area to the right of Seedring's Dream Point. Use the spin jump along the moving platforms to reach it. Use the bottom exit on the left to go back to the previous area. There you will find the third block just beyond the trap pillow. Go to the area left of Seedring's Dream Point and make your way onto the cliffs. Then go right and use the spin jump to get to the next cliff. Continue along this path until you reach the fourth attack block. Return to the previous area and use the drill ability on the blue moving platform to get through the spikes. Go south to find the fifth piece. Go left to the next area and immediately head north to find the sixth block. Complete the shell hunt minigame to obtain the seventh piece. Use the bottom exit to go right and find the 8th attack block. In the top area, use the moving platforms to line up with the drill point and drill through. Climb up the cliffs above you and break the rock at the top. 
Then use Mini Mario to go through the hole and collect the ninth piece. Head right to the next area and jump to the top of the cliffs on your right. Spin jump left to collect the tenth and final attack block. This will unlock Mario's Bomb Derby Brothers attack. The first attack block in Dreamy Driftwood Shore can be found immediately to your right as soon as you enter. After unlocking the first section of Dreamy Driftwood Shore, follow the pipes until you have two to choose from. Take the left pipe and use the gravity ability to maneuver Mario through the maze and reach the second piece. The third piece is in the same room, left of the gravity maze. Simply walk left, have Mario gravitate toward the ceiling, and position him so that he lands on the shell platform when the gravity is returned to normal. Return to the previous room to find the fourth piece. It is above the question blocks. Use the gravity to position Mario above the blocks. Continue on until you reach a room with a green pipe that you can't reach. Go right to see the activation block, but jump on the platforms above it to find the fifth attack block. In the first switch room of the second section of the Dreamy Driftwood Shore, maneuver your way to the left edge to find the sixth piece. After using the blue pipe in that same room, take the green pipe to your bottom right. Fight your way through the enemies and up the platforms to the top left side to obtain the seventh block. In the room after the spinning Luigi section, jump on top of the three question blocks to find the eighth piece. Go to the next room and travel all the way to the left to find the ninth block. In the same room, activate the left switch block to raise a platform. Use that platform to get to the tenth and final piece. This will unlock the Luigianary attack. Luigianary Flame. The first attack block in Somnam Woods can be found in the second Poison Lake area. Make your way to the top right corner and use the wind to spin jump directly down. Follow the platforms until you reach a rock. Break it and drill jump through the thorn arches. Then use your spin jump to get to the platform north of you on the other side. In the next area, drill jump through the thorn arches to the right side. Go north and use your spin jump to reach the second piece. Take the upper right path to get to the next area, and make your way along the platforms in the Poison Lake. When you reach the point where the flower is blowing wind, run past it and spin jump along the northern platforms to reach the third block. After using your drill jump to unlock the second gate, jump up the right side to find the fourth piece. In the bottom left area of Upper Somnam Woods, drill jump through the thorn arches then spin jump to the platforms north of the cannon to find the fifth block. You'll receive the sixth piece for successfully completing the ring minigame with the Nam Mons in the bottom right area. In the top left area, time your spin jump so you don't get pushed back by the wind. With proper timing, you'll reach the northernmost platform and obtain the seventh attack block. Keep going left in this section until you reach a cave. When you find a small opening, use Mini Mario to run through it and get the 8th piece. You'll find the ninth piece in the top right area. It's also through a little hole that Mini Mario will have to get to. You can get the 10th and final attack block after successfully gathering all the Somnom stones and making a pathway to the opposite side. This will unlock the Jetboard Bash Brothers attack for Mario. In Dreamy Somnom Woods, you can find the first attack block after completing the Invisible Maze. As soon as you exit the pipe, taking you away from there, head right through the bushes to find the block on the other side. On the second level of the woods, go into the next room and take the pipe on the right. Jump up the platforms to your left until you reach the far left pipe. Take it down to find the second piece.
In the room with the red coin block, hit it and collect all eight coins. This will make a switch block appear. Hit it to create a platform that will allow you to get the third attack block. Go immediately to the room on your left and use the Legionary Tower to break through the boxes. Head right to go back to the previous room and find the fourth block. Return to the room on your left and go down the pipe to enter a room full of bushes. Go left until Luigi can access his blowing ability and use it to clear away the plants. You'll immediately see the fifth piece. Continue left and use the pipe in the next room to find the sixth attack block. When you reach the fourth level of the woods, go left to enter a room full of spinning wheels. Transform Luigi into his ball form, and use the Mario hookshot to launch him on the left middle platform. Go into the next room to find the seventh piece. Return to the spinner room and use the bottom left exit. Keep going left in the next room and take the top exit. There you'll find the eighth attack block. Go back to the previous room and use Luigi to launch Mario onto the upper platforms. Jump to the highest point to find the ninth piece. Use the nearby switch block to activate a pipe and use that pipe to get to the next room. Walk along the upper pathway all the way to the left. There you'll find the tenth and final piece. This will unlock the last Luigianary attack, Luigianary Typhoon. When you find and save all 52 pillows, visit Eldream in Mushrise Park and he will give you 10 attack blocks. These will unlock Mario's last brother's attack, the Z-Egg. In the final area of the game, the first attack block can be found north of the first dream point. Use the upper left door to reach the room it's in and go straight ahead. Go to the northwestern room and make your way through the ring puzzle to reach the platform that the second piece is on. In the same room, take the blue circle marked door to get to the next area. Head around until you see a hole for Mini Mario to fit through. You'll be able to come out at an earlier section that has two question blocks, but keep going right to reach the platform where the third block is hidden. The fourth block can be found by going back through the blue circle marked door, then going into the yellow circle marked one. Make your way across the moving platforms and head right when you reach the top. This will bring you to the fourth attack block. You can reach the fifth block after solving Kamek's puzzle and bringing down the gate around the first dream point. In the first area north of the save point room, go left and jump over the lava pool to reach the sixth piece. In the area to the left of the second dream point room, make your way up the platforms and spin jump to the right side. Head down to find the seventh attack block. Use the north door marked with a pink triangle to reach the next room and go left to obtain the eighth piece. After completing the second dream point, head left to the door that was marked with a pink triangle. Go through it to find the ninth block. You can find the final piece by going to the room directly north of the second dream point and then navigating the bob -omb hazards to head right. Go through the southern exit on the right and keep heading south to eventually reach the platform with the tenth attack block. This will unlock Luigi's last brother's attack, the Star Rocket. 